Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. I don't know who it is. There's either Glutimus or uh, not Glutimus. It's either Maxi or the other guy that is currently glitching out on top of the face. <laughs> oh, that face. Okay, this is kind of beautiful. I'm I'm not going to help them at all. Okay, let's go talk to Parbella. You don't have to explain. Glutimus told me everything. <laughs> He's got a lot of nerve going behind my back like that. Well, never mind. All's well that ends well, I suppose. So, what's this clue Galileo gave you about building the ultimate weapon? Blue blocks, eh? What are we supposed to use them for? Hold on, I just remembered something. Galileo had this storeroom over in Gallenholm that he used to hide his secret plans from the monsters. He said that he'd put a special lock on that place, and they'd never be able to crack it. Crack. And I reckon them blocks have got something to do with it. Go on, dude. Whip up a couple of them blue blocks. Take them over to that storeroom and see if you can figure it out. All right. We should probably talk to... There we go. Let's see. She's, she's talking about the cave. Let's see. Conversation of the sound, limited to this parts of the body, library, books. I already made the library, I just don't know what else we need. Okay. Let's put away the gravestone for the time being. Jesus Christ, my inventory is almost full again. I just deleted everything. Ah! Okay, I can't imagine coarse cloth is particularly useful. We've got a bunch of hides, which I assume are necessary. Let's grab this, let's grab these. I'll see what I can do with at least a couple of things. Leave them there for all eternity. Okay. I'm gonna make this library into a goddamn mess. Just you watch me. See, do we have anything else that I can throw in here for the time being? Oh yeah, a chest. Maybe that's what we need. Nope, it's not a chest. I don't know. There's got to be, if they're telling me about the library, there's got to be a way to, to do this. Actually, hold on. Let me see. I guess we might as well do it with these blocks for the time being. I wonder if there's like a, a straight up limit. Ah, come. Really? Alright. Try a different type of light. Uh, I could. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? One more? There we go. There we go. Okay, give me a second while I work this out proper. Oh, right. We don't actually have to keep these supports if we don't want to. I'll do it anyway. Anyway, um... This is going to be a little awkward for navigational purposes for a little while. But I think it's worth it. Okay, so we've got this. We've got that. All right. So pretty soon my my decoy barrier will be complete or my decoy barrier my decoy banner will be complete. Okay. So let's grab um Let's see is it stone cladding? I think it's stone cladding. I guess really realistically I should 
plonk this down. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's just do the same thing here. Don't question this. I just... We have this... We have this barrier. It, or not this barrier, this banner. It... It just feels right to do something like this. As dumb as it is. Okay. Put this down. As long as it doesn't knock me off, we're all good. Okay. Get these. Get this. Okay. One, two. There we go. Okay. So let's knock these off. Knock that off. And there we go. Okay, so now we've got the uh, the banner to Cole and also to the Dragon Lord. Question nothing. I should probably make it look a little bit nicer, but right now I don't care. Uh, okay, library requires bench, bookcase, book, table, light source. And perfect. Okay, so all I need is a bench. And I can make a bench real easy. Because, yeah, it, apparently the library is an uh, alternate means of getting a health regen here. Which would be awesome. So I'm going to replace these blocks when it starts bugging them. Uh, bugging me. Oh, I see. Yes. Yes, I have a spell. Alright. Uh, there's really no place for me to put this bench, is there? I guess I'll just bung up that, that book for the time being. Is this it? We've built our first library. Okay. Increases automatic HP recovery by one point. Yes! Okay, so now we have fast healing. <laughs> oh, he's gotten worse. <laughs> oh, man. He is beautiful. I missed a block. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, so now that we've done that, I guess let's go back and put the extra book somewhere on the floor in here. Okay, yeah, so now I can adventure and I don't have to worry about healing. Hell, I might not even have to worry about starving, necessarily. Okay, um... Okay, museum requires... Four display stands, light source. So I could also have a museum, potentially. Unfortunately, I got rid of... Probably my only display stand. Because, yeah, I don't have any extras. Let's see if I let's see if I can do do that. I assume I can't make any display stands unless uh ornamental armor and stuff counts. But I might have to hold off on the the museum for at least a little while. Yeah, cuz I can't I can't make a display stand sta uh standard. I'd have to wait for an NPC to um I'd have to wait for an NPC to make it for me. And I don't think they're making them here. Yeah. We had like one show up for a bit, but looks like that's it. Anyway, let's grab some, uh, let's, let's make some blue blocks. And that's the extent of it. Okay. Let's see. So what do we want to do now? I guess we're, we're going to the red area. And we'll go figure out what that cave is. Yeah, so I'll, I'll figure out the museum for next time. I, I should be able to make the library fairly early on, too. Um, I I really do wish you could actually carry over every single one of your recipes from from chapter to chapter. Uh, at least in some variety. Like, library, we should be able to re replicate very fairly easily. Um, but, like, specifically, wooden, wooden floors and walls and stuff. That's something I really wish I could uh, replicate a second time around here. What else would there be? I don't know. But I I'm just glad I've got uh, health regen while I'm going along. Let's see. While we're here, let's see if Bird's done. Bird will be here in 20 minutes. Good to know. Alright, so that's probably a hole I blew in the hill myself. 
You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread gnome. I'm probably a gnome. I don't know. Ah, crap. Are we... What? Oh, it's a different cave. Can I go to the previous? Well, I guess we'll we'll go back. We'll follow the quest for the time being, and I'll go take a take a look at other stuff. Okay. <laughs> Last chapter is begging for stone to build with, and now uh, Nightbot wiped him out. Ah, shame. You see, the thing is, I want a proper mix. I want. I want wooden floors and stone walls. Like, it'd be so nice looking if I could have both, and I have yet to get to a point where it lets me do both. Unless I, like, specifically filched a ton of blocks from some weird place. Uh... But, eh. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's go to the green. It looks like there's multiple of these caves, so I'll have to go back and go along the way. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go see about this this magical cave thing. Yeah, I don't even have to worry about falling damage anymore. Let's see how let's see how hefty this health regen is. Okay, the answer is it's slow. And it, okay, it's interesting. It's it seems to be four HP every ten seconds, just by eyeballing it. That's actually pretty damn good, sort of. Let's see, how far ahead are you from where YouTube's at? Hour and a half, give or take. Let's see, raise base to level five reward. Can build hardwood and timber blocks. Yeah, it's something like that. I don't know. There, there's a lot of ways they could have, they could have, uh, they could have like paced it out, uh, resources and um, recipe wise. And I, I don't know. It's always a bit of a shame that they didn't bother. Not that it like, not that it really matters. But like, I want to make my base the way I want. I'm also really disappointed. I've never actually had much of a reason to build a. Um, I've never had much of a reason to build a uh, a mine track here. Oh, righto! Yeah. Alright, so looks like I'm stuck in here. Well, I'm not stuck in here. I don't know where the entrance is. It's probably over this direction, considering it almost never has you climb up into the mountains to complete these. So apparently, level 5, I'm supposed to unlock the ability to make hardwood stuff. Huh. That's the case, that'd be news to me. All right, let's see if I can follow this cave and see if this is where it takes me. Worst comes to worst, we dig laterally until we find it. But I get the very distinct feeling this is a this is going to be a bust. Shoot. Oh, maybe I have to keep going further around the outside. That's likely. Yeah. So my bet is hardwood's going to be the next uh, next chapter. Cause I'm on, I'm in, uh, I'm in chapter, I'm in chapter three, so maybe it's either, uh, the hardwood's either in chapter four, five, or Terra Incognita. I don't know. Uh, I am looking forward to getting to Terra Incognita. It's just one of those where I really would like to push that for the very, very end. Not because I have to, but because by pacing it out, that means we finally, we, where the hell is this entrance? I guess we're, I guess I'm gonna have to go excavate it. That's my favorite thing in the world. Oh, you know what? It's probably a, a mountain-based entrance. I passed a cave. Did I? It's really hard to tell.
Oh yeah, there it is. This was a little bit harder to see. Though this doesn't... Oh, it's got a goodie in it. We get a spectacular spa blueprint. Huh. Well, this is hot garbage. Okay. Yeah, lots of mithril. Oh, hey, here's the entrance, right here. Uh, okay, what's this say? Actually, no. What's this say? Bearer of blue blocks. Fill in the blanks on the floor to fill in the blanks in your knowledge. Okay. Well, I guess this is easy enough. Oh, so this is how we get into the other cave. I guess I'll check. Ah, crap. All right, hold on. I should have an extra bench here. No, it's got to be. It's got to be the other variety. Well, I'm glad I I carry spares. This would be this would be really annoying otherwise. The reason why you like this game is because you get as uh, you get a Zelda vibe to it. Oh yeah, they really, really like mimicked that feel really well. Oh hi. All right. Well, nice part is I'm almost immortal. Given the given the situation, I'm not too worried about death here. You get back here. Okay. And this last guy doesn't even seem to be mobile. <laughs> My cannon protects me from harm. <laughs> All right, so we get treasure chest. It has prototype plans. Yes. Okay, and we learn how to make a Volcovoltaic Magin Motor, which is a complicated component made of metal and machinery. Righto, now we leave. Come with me, uh, Cannon of Justice. Uh, let's see, so we got this taken care of. That was easy. I really do like the snow effects in this game. They look great. Okay, so I think we're actually completely done with... Uh, with the third area. I probably... <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, uh, do it. Oh, you know what? I do have something to replace the, uh, the floors up here with. This is bothering me. And I was wondering how to fix this. Ah, crap. Oh, mm. I guess this is easier to get back to than I thought. There we go. Okay. Probably should have done this entire thing out of lava. Yeah, that looks... That looks appropriate. A little odd. Maybe I should have it, like, up one. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Uh... Let's see, what do we do next? I guess we put away all these blocks, because we don't need them. Um, I'm gonna go make some more blue blocks, just in case. And then I think I'm just gonna go running for that, like, super secret cave. On that one side. Uh, on the red side? I guess we'll... Should I wait for daytime? I don't know. He is still glitched. He is? Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, this is what you get for not using the stairs, dumbass. All right, anyway, um, while we're here, we've got some plans somewhere that I can no longer find. Ah! Where's the, where is that blueprint? Oh, there it is. Okay, spectacular spa. Uh, <laughs> there's no space in anywhere. There, okay, so what do we need for a spectacular spa? Apart from room. Jesus Christ, this is huge. What? Okay. Oh, interesting. What? The... Wow! How the balls am I supposed to do this? Specifically, I Ivy. I think... I think I'm gonna leave that alone for the time being. Let's go to bed. I'm not even sure if I have enough room to make something like that. Jesus. I think that is the special blueprint, just like the Cantlin Garden. Yeah. Let's see. Do not make rope out of it. You have plenty. Do we? I don't remember finding Ivy on this, uh... In this chapter. Because I've been making cord out of those grasses, if I remember right. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain we don't have any. Well, we got some more grass. I guess I'll grassify this area next. There we go. Eh, it'll look nice eventually. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that right now. We might have to wait until Terra Incognita to finish that thing. Okay. You found the plans for the prototype invention, Galileo Stormbroom. Quick, dude, let me at, uh let me take a butcher's butcher's at him. I don't understand these people. Core blimey, these designs tell us everything we need to know to finish building the ultimate weapon. Heh. <laughs> Useless to the last, eh? I tried to figure it out on my own, but in the end, I couldn't finish the job without his help. The man I loved and the man I killed. I've told you about the research Galileo is working on, right? He poured his art and soul into trying to find a way of combining the powers of fire and ice. But no matter how hard he tried, he could never finish the job until you turned up. Us humans didn't have the power to build that kind of thing. With every failed experiment, his mind and his body wasted away. And there was nothing I could do to help him. And then, one day, the Dragon Lord came. He told Galileo that if he joined up with the monsters, he'd be given the knowledge beyond all human understanding. The power to complete his life's work. It was too much for Galileo to resist. He said yes. Ironic, isn't it? He'd spent his life working on an invention that could wipe out, wipe the Dragon Lord's army out. But he got so obsessed with his work, he lost sight of his true aim and ended up joining him. We'd promised each other that whatever happened, we'd, uh, whatever we had to do, we'd never let the monsters win. So when he became one of them, I did what I had to do. Corpli me. Why'd you make me spill my guts out like that? But anyway, it's time to stop moping over the past and start looking to the future. We gotta get that ultimate weapon built and take out the monster's leaders. Galileo got as far as finishing off the Volcavoltaic Magimotor that it was supposed to power the thing but he could never figure out how to put together the weapon itself. So now it's your turn. Time to show us what the Builder can really do. This is it, dude. It's finally time to put this war to bed. Use that Magimotor to build the ultimate weapon 
and use the ultimate weapon to defeat the Magmelas and the Fern Fiend. It's up to you how to build it and what you call it, but whatever you do, you got to get that weapon built. The spa blueprint is for a challenge. Ugh. All right, I'll do it in a bit. Wait, what? It's a car? A spiked trike that can move at scary speeds can be ridden to increase movement speed. Can be used repeat. What? We're making a car? What kind of weird garbage nonsense is this? Hey, we already have the curious contraption. Okay, where the hell did we build this thing? Oh, there it is. Bashmobile. Wow. We can just build it straight out. I thought it was actually going to be some e uh, take some effort. I literally get a car. Ah! What the fuck? You've done it! You've built the ultimate weapon! Thanks, dude! Now Galileo can rest in peace. Just imagine how differently things could have turned out if he'd built this thing for the Dragon Lord. If the monsters had that kind of power, we wouldn't have stood a chance. There ain't a day that goes by I don't regret what I did. But maybe if it was maybe it was for the best. Don't get me wrong, dude. I didn't do what I did to save this uh, save the world. I did it to save him. Core blimey, dude. Why'd you get me talking all soppy again? It's time to forget the past and start concentrating on the future. And there ain't nothing but uh, nothing more futuristic than that weapon you built. I thought it was gonna be some kind of rocket, but it's actually something you can ride in, right? So, have you come up with a name for it yet? What? The Bashmobile? <laughs> you might be a genius at building things, dude, but you can't name them to save your life. Still, it ain't the name that counts. Now that we've got hold of the ultimate weapon, we're all ready to take on the Magmalis and the Fern Fiend. Come on, dude. Stick that Bashmobile of yours down the uh, down to the monster's manor and teach those blighters a lesson. Oh, and thanks, dude. After all you've done for me, I can't thank you enough. Stone me! What the heck was that shaking all about? Surely it can't be. Alright, and it's the final battle. I'll work on the that bath blueprint after we've fought. First, we're gonna save though, just in case. Because I'm gonna be a cranky puss if uh, if shit gets broke, and that we then we can't continue on. Uh, let's see. All right, I guess let's do these battles. Those rotten monsters! Just when we was on our way to attack them, they come to attack us. But there's a strange energy in the air this time. I can feel the power stronger than anything I felt before. Hold on. You told me the monsters nicked the prototype magic motor from the Galileo laboratory, don't you? Don't tell me they used it already. But never mind all that now. We got some monsters to mash. What do you say, dude? Are you ready to crack some skulls? Yes. Aw, oh, he's fixed. He's not up there anymore. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see. Wow, this is hard to drive. How do you drive this? How, what? How is this even a thing? Ah! What? What does? What do? How does? How, do, how does it work? Do we, do we have to attack with it? I don't... Okay. So circle puts on the brakes, I guess. I mean it it messes people up. ah. I don't I don't get it. I really don't. I mean it's hilarious. I've got a rocket tricycle as my thing. It drives like ass.
Do I just... How do I... Do I... Do I do... I don't know. I give up. I don't get this. At least these guys can't destroy my base in the slightest, which is... Super... Oh my god. Eh. Okay, never mind. They can't destroy my base. I don't know. Actually, that troll might not be enough. I seriously do not understand. Yeah, I think you fight better with your sword. I don't... Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Now, here's the question. Do we have multiple rounds of this? Or do we only have to fight a, uh, a little bit here? Yeah, the problem is I don't even know what the controls are for, for how to drive it. We have ride, and then shit just gets confusing. Pew! See you, bitch. Ah. Okay, well, he knows where I live. But that's okay, because I have a rocket car. I don't know how it works. Boop! Ah, crap. He is able to destroy my other walls. My bar! You son of a bitch! He can't even do damage to me. Don't you dare fuck up my bar. I use that for things, like eating. You barely even do damage to me. You fat little wussy shit. There we go. Alright. I knew I should have built stronger walls and or some kind of ridiculous nonsense. I don't know. Anyway. Alright, so we get some medicinal herbs, and we're back, and I'm probably gonna go fix up town for a second. Yeah, looks like we get another round of this. Oh, God, why? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's... This is the bad... This is... These are the bad days. Alright, let's use this. And cross our... Butts that... Shit didn't do what it... <sighs> I'm a dumbass. Okay. So I got very good, very, very good news. One, this is going over here. <laughs> Like, right here. That's about the safest place I can... Okay, good. So, the entire inventory of the, uh... The Colossal Coffer does not get wiped out. When your town does. That's... That's good news. I was about to be... Horrendously crankle. Instead, we're okay. Alright, let's get rid of some of this garbage for the time being. Definitely don't need all this heart fruit. Don't need this. Don't need this. Okay, there we go. So it only reaches some amount of distance here. I wiped up my table. Okay, I guess what I'm gonna do, seeing as Magmalis probably can't, um... Hmm. Seeing as Magmalis, or not Magmalis, seeing as the trolls probably can't reach too far in, are actually, no, even more so. Um, do we really not have any? Oh, oh, no, these are flagstones. So are the, so are these. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just rebuild. I guess I'm not as efficient the second time around, but that's okay. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that where they can't destroy them. Uh, let's take a look at the bodybuilder's bar. So it looks like we're missing a um a table. Oh yeah. This table. Okay. Oh, right. That's that's where the, the blocks went. There's a door here. I remember now. Alright, so let's let's keep fixing this up for a second. And we're gonna we're gonna take drastic measures for a, for a moment after this. I really wish I could make those unbreakable doors. Anyway, so we've got a we've got a bodybuilder's bar. Apparently you can get stuck underneath this section of the wall. Which 
should probably fix that. Uh, yeah, let's let's fix that before we do too much. Where's all that obsidian I've mined? There it is. So he was only able to do like a little bit of damage here. So let's make it even harder for them to get in. I don't think we get attacked from every angle. Why are trolls trying to fuck up Wander's house? Dude, because they're jerks. So I'm gonna fix it. Also, hi bird. I will be I will be done with this momentarily. I think I'm just gonna put up this wall and then we'll um I think I'll just put up this wall and then we'll take a short break for multiplayer -y things. I really I think I only have to de defend from this one side. Nobody knows there's a gap there. Okay, so let's bonk through that. Okay, and let's grab more obsidian. Yeah, so if we just make... Oh, whoops. Well, whatever. Structural supports there are not particularly useful. Okay. Let's just push back. Uh, do I have this be three high? I'm kind of tempting. Uh, it, it's kind of tempting. So what I'm going to do is have have this outer, outer layer wall. It should be invincible enough that nothing's going to be able to get through it. Uh, yeah, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to raise it one higher. Nobody's going to get in through here, but it is going to be, uh, it is going to be a little bit amazingly stupid looking from the outside. Luckily, I don't care that much. So we're just going to do this. Oh, uh, I'm going to take a quick pit stop over here. We want to we want to make a, a path for my my villagers to actually get outside, and then I can have the path up to the top of this wall. There we go. All right, so now no monsters can get in, but I can totally get out, and then we'll be good to go. Okay. You know I cannot tell you how many times I get comments when playing this. What is Dragon Quest? What is this game? So it's, it's always weird to me. Okay. Let's do that. And then I'll just have a block here so we can get up. Oops. Definitely didn't mean to do that. Mip. Alright. There's one, there's two. Okay, so now now we're good. So I guess I should probably have like a staircase. Alright, so this won't get destroyed. And it's an easy entrance for everybody to come. Uh, in and out of town if they need to, ever. Okay.